Now, now, John, you're not one to throw away this nylon webbing stuff. That's what held us in our tree today. It always comes in handy for things. So I invented this little thing. And this is the, the girlfriend canoe lounge. And I just sewed up some, some scrap pieces of, of webbing. Yes. And you take it and you put this loop over that. Yes. And you take this and there's a loop here. And you go around this back one. And then do your trucker hitch. Uh, maybe it'd be better to be over it. Okay, over it. And then this is a loop in there, the trucker hitch, and you can cinch it down quite tight. Put a single loop in there, okay, mm -hmm. like that on that side, and like this on this side. Cinch it nice and tight. And then you lay a towel over that or mm -hmm. a pad. Let's see how it works. And she can she can lay back in here like this and lounge while you're going down the river and fishing. Nice. That is the canoe lounge invented by Thomas Morrow. <laughs> I like. And it's it's very comfortable. You just lay a towel on that. Mm -hmm. There's three webs. Yeah. I I I measured so they'd be about the right length. Uh -huh. Here, Let me show us how the canoe lounge works. Miss, miss girlfriend. Now, and this also fits, you don't have to own a canoe to, to make that to work because it'll work on any canoe. That's amazing. So you sit on the seat and facing backwards. Now, is there lay. a patent pending on that? Oh, yeah. Is there? Oh, yeah. Well, I usually I put a cushion in there, too. Well, a cushion is nice, yes. You can't tip over now because we got foam there now, see? And then you get a pillow back there, and da 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 da. You don't even have to paddle. You no. just you just relax and get some suntan lotion. Mhm. Mm <laughs> and that way I don't have to look at where you're going. That's right. <laughs> and look at the waves <coughs> and the rocks and. Yeah. The canoe canoe lout. Is that an invention or what? Very good. I'd, I'd apply for a patent on that. Yep. Okay, so this is the part where I show you how to make the Girlfriend Canoe Lounge. Uh, this is my uh, packaging concept uh, that's, that's uh, written with Sharpie marker. I'm thinking that this is, that's going to really sell this item. Um, Eight ounces, probably. Last it forever. Okay, so what we have here is webbing, nylon webbing, and I've made a loop in the end of it. Oh, let's say about a foot, nine inches, and just tied an overhand knot. Then I put webbing number one, cross piece, and that one is about oh seven inches and webbing number two is ten inches and webbing number three is uh, fourteen inches okay so that'll probably fit about any canoe big enough loop to go over the tip and then total length Total length of oh. a 
about 80, 83, 85 inches. Uh, minus this, I tied an overhand knot to make a loop there to, to attach it to. Uh, you could put buckles, you could sew buckles in there and it would be adjustable. Uh, so that's it, and I stitched these uh, with some some uh, dental floss is great thread to use uh, to sew that webbing together that will last forever um, and is very strong I put some of these in a sewing machine and my my sewing ability is not very good so I reinforced it with some with some dental floss. Dental floss is an, a great survival tool uh, for to use as sewing. It's just so strong. Anyway, so that is the Girlfriend Canoe Lounge. And um, if you want to buy my patent on this, um, you know, everything is for sale. So thanks for watching. Check out our next one.